just how do sightings improve traffic flow? Think about your algebra word problems when you were back in school. If train A is traveling eastbound from A-Town to B-Ville at 40 miles per hour, and train B is traveling westbound from B-Ville to A-Town at 55 miles per hour, how in the world will they get past each other on a single track? The correct answer is a sighting. It is the shorter track on the side of the main track that allows trains to pass each other. And there is a strategy behind their placement to increase capacity along a line of track. Let's work through some simple algebra problems to explain. When sidings are spaced 25 miles apart, train traffic traveling at 50 miles per hour will get two trains across, one in each direction, over the course of an hour. When the distance between sidings is cut in half, that same hour will allow you to get almost four trains across, two in each direction. That provides a significant increase in our trains per day capacity. So, by reducing the distance between sidings, we can get more traffic through an area. When we talk about lengthening an existing siding, this also provides additional capacity, especially as train length increases. A longer siding allows our trains more distance to ramp up to track speed before moving back onto the main track. Much like a highway entry ramp, the longer, the better. Where we build sidings is determined not only by capacity needs, but geography and land availability. Eventually, when a segment of our railroad has sidings that are eight miles apart and still needs increased capacity, we connect those sidings into double track segments. <laughs>